Hello friends, today I will be giving you a quick introduction to AWS Device Farm. To use the AWS Device Farm, you need to log into the AWS Management Console. AWS Device Farm is available under front end web and mobile applications and device farm link. You can also see it under the recently viewed services if you have already accessed your device farm. So click on device farm. In this demo, we will be running and creating a mobile de de device project. So click on mobile device project checkbox. Enter the project name could be test AWS device farm demo click on create project click on create a new run select choose or test a native application on Android or iOS. Upload your file. Click on upload. Select a file, say Mixar Rev 0.92.apk. Once you have chosen your application and uploaded it, you should get the details. Of your EPK file, the version code, version name, and other details. Click on the next step to go to configuring your test and then select the test you want to run it on. You can select APM Java, APM Python, APM Ruby, etc. In the context of this test, I will select built in fuzz. I will keep the event count, event total as default advanced configuration is optional where you can enable video recording and enable performance data capture I'll keep them enabled and I click on the next step the third step is selecting and your device pool you can also create your device pool so let me create one say Samsung device pool and I'll just select some device say for example Samsung S7 I save the device pool I select the list of devices I can run on you can also edit your device and select more devices for now I'm keeping it one then click on next step you can specify the device state the device location the host machine etc for now I am keeping it default click on next step the last step is basically to review and then start your run you can change the timeout values as well I will not be changing anything so I have selected my application, I have selected my test, I have selected my device pool and then you can click on confirm and start. Once you click on confirm and start, your test will start running on the devices that you have selected. So for now, I have selected one device. So we'll wait for the test to run. Once your run is completed, you should see a green tick mark. The time that it has taken the run. You can click on the particular run details and you can see whether your test cases have passed or failed. You can click on the particular device for further details. You can get uh, the suits that are run and the time that it took and whether it passed or failed you should get the run video as well to view you should
should be able to see the logs as well as the performance in terms of CPU utilization, memory, threads and the various files associated with this run. Along with that you should see the screenshots of the test as well. So. So here's the video of the run and here are the logs. Hope you liked it. Thank you.